Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another video at the Pharmacist Academy! Woo! Happy holidays everyone. I know 2020 was a crazy year, but 2021, ready for the bounce back. So today I'm going to share with you how I studied for pharmacotherapeutics, or we could call it therapeutics for short, and aced all my classes except for one that I got an A- on. Now this is one of the most challenging classes you would take in pharmacy school, and a lot of people struggle with it. Follow these tips and your exam grade and the grade for the course will improve. I guarantee it. Tip number one, avoid cramming. Now this is probably the most important tip simply because I feel like therapeutics is not a difficult class, but it's just the fact that the volume of information is so much that it makes it hard to prepare for it. So you want to try to stay ahead of the game. Whenever you get the opportunity to study a new chapter or a new lecture, take advantage of that opportunity so that you're always ahead of the game. Let's say you get like an extra day off during the week, utilize that day and stay ahead of the game. Cramming only helps pass the exam. So it helps you memorize things quickly so you could take the exam, but when it comes to actually utilizing what you learn in the practical sense, it may be a little bit difficult. So that's one of the downsides of cramming, and that's why you want to avoid it. It's not going to do you any justice for the exam and also for when you're practicing as a pharmacist. Make summary pages. Now you want to take notes of important information. And this is very important simply because you can utilize these summary pages when studying for quick revisions. And as we will see later on, one of the key things you want to do when studying for therapeutics is repetition, right? You want to be able to review your notes several times. So when you have summary pages, it's not as condensed as let's say the lecture and you're able to quickly study it and it also improves your question generating skills. And the reason why I say this is because you must know how to generate questions if you take good notes, if you get what I'm trying to say. Um, in order to extract the important information from the lecture, it also goes hand in hand with like the ability to generate the questions also. It also improves your time efficiency, as I had mentioned. Now, you want to try to review before any new lecture. This is a little tough because in pharmacy school, you're bombarded with a lot of work from other courses also. So even when you have time, you want to study for the other courses. But I want you to try to, you know, just quickly use like 30 minutes to skim through the lecture slides and it will help you to quickly process the information during the lecture. It's going to improve your listening during the lecture and the ability to retain what you actually study and it improves the understanding also. As I have here, you want to study to understand. I know it gets a little difficult because of time that we just try to memorize the lecture or the notes and then just go on and take the exam, but try your best to understand. Understanding requires you to put in more time, but it is worth it because you have to do more Google searches, you have to read more information and do a little bit more research in order for you to get the clear understanding of whatever you're studying. Prioritize information. Now there are certain concepts in therapeutics that you will realize that you're not that difficult to grasp. And then there are others that may be a little hard for you to grasp. And this is very personalized. So just try to prioritize the information and put more time towards studying for the more challenging topics and concepts. Repetition is key. Um, probably the second most important tip that I'm providing today, 60% of your time should go towards new information and 40% should go towards memorizing the old notes because you wanna take two steps ahead and one step back. So for, let's say, for every three pages that you're studying, go back to review one page. And you wanna keep doing this as this will help you retain the information. And sometimes you should just make time just to review. Even if you're not going to 
go through new notes that day just make time just to review your old notes even if it's 30 minutes it's still going to help a lot use flowcharts I love using flowcharts because it makes it easy for me to understand sometimes the disease state the management of that disease state requires you to look at certain criteria, and sometimes it gets a little complicated right you have to follow some stepwise approach towards managing it so when you use a flow chart you're able to get that visualization and also you use information right summarized information in the flow charts so it actually makes it easier for you to retain also and then when you're doing your studying or your revision you're able to have more repetitions when you're studying understand the mechanism of actions of the medications simply because it makes it easier for you to understand the side effects now not all side effects may be directly related um, to the mechanism of action but a lot of the times it is and if you understand the mechanism of action of the medication you're automatically going to remember majority of the side effects it also makes it easy for you to understand the pathophysiology because if you understand how the medication is fixing the problem then you will also understand what the problem was from the beginning use flashcards now I don't use physical flashcards I have this app on my phone it's called flashcard that I utilize it's very easy to use um, it allows me to study everywhere and it gives me the opportunity to you know go through very important like factual things about the medication really fast like those trivial questions that they may ask me I'm able to put the information into the flashcard app and then test myself use acronyms and mnemonics I use something known as n-word acronyms and it's great for medication facts and clinical pearls now I have an example here Rolopitent is a medication that's used for chemo induced nausea and vomiting and it has a long half-life of 180 hours so if I wanted to remember this clinical pearl about this medication I would use n-word acronyms right so in this case roller pitent it sounds like roller so the first few letters right roller it reminds me of a Rolex and it's a good quality watch so it lasts a very long time and that's how I would be able to remember the long half-life of course if you're able to remember it without using mnemonics or acronyms then even better but sometimes it's difficult for that information to stick so that's when you want to utilize this and that would be the end of this video if this video was helpful make sure to like comment subscribe and share with somebody that may benefit from it take some of these tips and implement it and try like at least three I would say and you can also apply this for other classes and I promise you it will help you a lot connect with me on these social media platforms thank you for watching this video and take care